Previously, we discussed magnetic compass acceleration errors. You may wish to view that video now. Turning introduces new compass errors since changing direction is also a form of acceleration. This triangular object turning around in a circle is like an aeroplane in a balanced turn. It has centripetal force accelerating it towards the centre point. And in the opposite direction, it has the centrifugal force acting outwards. Take this object sitting sideways with its centre of gravity displayed like this. In a turn, the object will naturally want to rotate back about its pivot point, so the two forces realign again. In essence, this is what happens to a compass that is subject to the effect of magnetic dip. When the aeroplane turns through the northerly heading, the effect is significant since the displaced centre of gravity is entirely to the side. Similarly, turning through the southerly heading causes this error. Turning through westerly and easterly headings does not cause significant turning errors since the two forces are aligned with the centre point and the magnet's pivot point. For instance, if you are turning through the northerly heading from 330 to a new heading of 030, your compass will overshoot during the turn. So compensate for it with an extra 20 degrees to level off at 050 and wait for the compass to correct itself on your new heading. Remember these mnemonics. Use UNOS in the Northern Hemisphere. Use ONUS in the Southern Hemisphere. How much to overshoot or undershoot by, you ask? You may use this guide. For instance, a left turn from 120 to a northerly heading will require you to overshoot by 30 degrees. So level off at a 330 and wait for the compass to correct itself on your new heading.